What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm currently driving my brother's house right now, but uh, I'm going to work on the Jeep. So I've got my crankshaft positioning sensor here and I'm really hoping that's gonna kind of solve my problems because uh, I've been reading a lot and that, the throttle positioning, positioning sensor and the camshaft positioning sensor are like the three to cause all of the problems with not starting in the Jeep. So this is like the hardest one to do, but I think my Jeep's putting a code out for that one. Um, so I'm gonna try that and then get the gas tank back up in there and then hopefully it starts. So uh, just keep our uh, fingers crossed here, but we'll see what happens and uh, I'll see you when I get there. All right, so I just got to Matt's house. He's going to get the keys for the Jeep right now, and uh, I'm just waiting, and then we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so put the keys in there and then tried to run the codes, and it's not telling me anything, so I can't confirm that it's the crankshaft position sensor, but uh, I'm just gonna start pulling this thing apart and go ahead and get in there. So we're gonna go basically right here. And then there should be a hole in the firewall that I can get through to the motor, which is going to allow me to get a wrench on there and take that thing out. So this should be an adventure. All right, so steering column's out, a uh, little fuse cover's out, the bottom of the dash is out, and a little piece for the AC is out. So I should be able to get in there now. So I'm going to pull this guy off and then I should be able to get through with an extension to the uh, crankshaft positioning sensor. Fingers crossed. Okay, so right now I'm pulling the throttle body or uh, part of my intake off of the throttle body so I can get a little bit closer look to the motor, see where I can get the extension in there. Um, kind of funny though, this thing literally just like lifted out. None of this was like screwed in. They're just a garbage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lift this guy off and then I uh, should be able to get the extension down there or at least get an idea of where the sensor is so I can get the extension on it. I got that thing pulled apart and I found the sensor here so basically you're looking through this tiny little hole in the floor and then that's the sensor right there. So I gotta get to that bolt which is even harder to reach and I think I'm gonna use the magnet to hold the extension so it doesn't fall, so we'll see. Okay, as you can see, pretty disgusting right now. Really gross. Anyway, we got the new sensor in. I still gotta put the throttle body back on there in the intake, but that's the old one. Um, and then we just got ahead and lifted up the gas tank too. So right now I'm working on getting the hose clamps tight where you fill the gas tank. Um, but right now, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I just gotta get those hose clamps tight and then tighten the bolts for the gas tank and then that's up. And then hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, for like the fifth time today, it will start. All right. God, dude. I like snagged my head on everything. I'm gross. You hook it up, hook the battery up, hell yeah. Okay, gas tank is up. Uh, fuel pump has been in. Who knows if it's gonna work? There's a new fuel relay. We replaced the crankshaft positioning sensor. Try this. Uh, I'm starting it. No, you're not. I got the keys in my pocket, bud. I'm starting it. <laughs> Get ready to be disappointed. Yeah, seriously. One, two, three. Needs a jump. I really hope it just needs a jump. But words cannot describe how bad I want to roll it off a cliff! Ah! All right, so this stupid little wire down there, let's see if we can get to it. Wait for it, right there. Literally all of those wires are touching each other. So, we separated them and I bet you as soon as they touch again this thing's gonna die, but. Oh my god, this is the most relieving feeling ever. I can't wait to roll it off a cliff now. All right, so I wish that I could say that all the parts that I paid for and installed in here actually fixed the problem, but I'm pretty sure they didn't. 
So, probably just a good thing we replaced all the stuff that usually goes out on these. So, it runs, which I'm stoked on. Uh, I just gotta go ahead and fix those bare wires, tape everything up in there. It's just, yeah, it's just idling right now. Um, but yeah, just a bunch of stupid little things. So, gas gauge is working, battery gauge is all the way up. Oil pressure is perfect. It's almost warm now. So, I mean, so far so good. But yeah, this thing's running like a champ so far. And there's no linger when you rev it too. It drops right back down. So, uh, maybe it runs a little better. This is honestly crazy right now. The fact that I'm sitting in this Jeep and it's running. <laughs> oh my God, I'm at a loss for words. Funny, it was at like a full tank before all this went down. And I think I spilled so much gas trying to get that fuel pump back in. And it's at like three quarter tank. <sighs> I'm just excited it runs. So, on that note, I'm just gonna go ahead and slap the whole dash back together, um, plug that hole in the firewall, and everything else is taken care of. So, yeah, let's get to it. So, we're in the car right now. Uh, we got the Jeep running, so now Ethan's driving it back to my house. I'm gonna follow him, make sure everything goes good. Here he comes. She runs. So right now, I am sitting like literally at the turn into my neighborhood because I don't know if Ethan remembers where to go or not. Well, anyway, it made it all the way back. It's like a 30 minute drive for my brothers, so it's pretty decent. But uh, the Jeep made it and there seems to be no issues. Once the Jeep started running, the gas gauge filled up and I was really excited about that because I thought that the wiring was messed up on that for a while and it's the sending unit for that. So once it worked, I was like a little sigh of relief, but it runs. So super stoked on that. Ethan's bringing it home. It should be turning in any minute here. No issues? No issues other than me sweating my ass off. I need to recharge the AC. <laughs> Words cannot describe how happy I am this thing's finally running. Uh, I took Ethan and his brother back to my brother's house so he could drive his truck home. Um, thank you again, Ethan, for driving this thing. I appreciate it, I know you're sweating your ass off in there. Um, so yeah, I think next for the Jeep, probably just recharge the AC, that way it works. And then, I mean, I'm leaving it the way it is. Four wheel drive, I need a new slip yoke for the front, um, for the transfer case. Probably a new, um, oh my God, I'm blanking. New drive shaft as well. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna do any of that. I mean, it drives fine in two wheel right now and I wasn't even taking off-roading. It was my daily until I got my car. So as it is right now, it's pretty much done. So just really stoked on this. But yeah, I mean, both of the cars at my house, <laughs> both of my cars run. Well, I mean, I hope the Fiat runs, but either way, I'm just really stoked to have both of them back home and they're both in working order. If you guys enjoyed today's video, uh, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like because this Jeep gave me hell and I'm just glad it's back together now. But uh, other than that, if you got anything you want to comment, go for it and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.